Hi, I'm going to talk about this morning about uh, somebody asking what's the best price or what is your price on a vehicle when we're actually outside on the lot. The first thing I'm going to talk about is what's the price. 80% of dealers today in the United States don't have prices on their cars. With that being said, everybody asks what's the price. Why? Because there's no price on the car. What we want to do is this. We want to slow down not giving them a price to make sure that we don't put uh, our price out there and then maybe they want more for their trade and then we screwed up too fast. Right, and obviously we'd like to build the value high before we give a price, so the customer can see that the price is actually worth it because we've had an opportunity to give a great presentation, uh, so the price makes sense. Um, but what I want you to do is this: understand when somebody asks what's the price, you've got to have an answer on your heart. If if you can't just say, hey, what's the price, and throw out something and have it make sense, then guess what happens? You're probably going to sit there swallowing. Uh, you know, you 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 kind of locked up in front of your customer, and then all of a sudden that wall is going to come back up in between you two, and uh, the sale won't advance forward. They probably won't trust you anymore or believe you. So what I want you to say is, one of the best things that I like is this, our owner discounted the entire lot this morning. One of my best things is, hey, how you guys doing? Welcome to the store. I talk to them, we find a vehicle, and they say, Andy, uh, what's the price? Oh guys, I apologize. This morning our manager actually had a meeting with us. Uh, great news, our owner actually discounted the entire inventory over $100,000. We had some write down money, he used it all this morning. So what I'd like to do is actually uh, have us drive the vehicle, touch it, feel it, smell it, make sure that you love it. And then when we go inside, I'm gonna show you a five minute proposal I promise you that you can't say no to. But I don't wanna just give you the price then, I wanna give you the new discounted price. I promise you this, we don't buy these cars to keep them, we buy them to sell them, we're not a museum. I promise you, you'll be happy. That right there is something that's tattooed on your heart to say. 90% of the customers will pass go with you, allow you to finish your job, and guess what? You stay in control of yourself, you stay in control of the customer. That last 10%, guess what? You may end up having to go inside and give them a price, but it's nice to know that one out of 10 that's happening, but the other nine you can take control of because you have an answer on your heart. So that would be what's the price. Now also, if you're selling a program vehicle, um, you know, it's 2015, so I wanna talk about like, a 2014 model on your lot, and somebody says, hey, what's the price? One of the things that I like to say is this, look, I'm gonna tell you this, these vehicles, they come in, uh, they were either locally traded or they were lease returns. What I wanna share with you is this, is that you can save five to $10,000 on these vehicles right up front, they've had a couple of old changes on them. So this is definitely the way to go if you're looking to save a lot of money. And guess what? Right there, I didn't have to give you a price, but I showed you that that was the way to go to save money, and I'm gonna to try to advance the sell forward. You may even try to pull some of that into what we talked about on the first one instead of the owner discounted the entire inventory. Just say it's a program model, then explain to them how we're not a museum, we don't buy these to keep them, we buy them to sell them. So, obviously, uh, best price, that's where maybe somebody's seen a vehicle on the internet, and then they come into your store and they say, hey, you know, Andy, I was coming to look at this stock number. Yeah, we saw the price on it. Andy, what's your best price? Well, I kind of wrote down a couple things here that I want you to think about for a minute. Whenever it's your best price, uh, always best thing to say is, first of all, we don't put our second best price up front. We put our first best price. We've learned that customers today have too much going on to sit there and call dealers to try to figure out what the best deal is. And obviously, if you saw it on the internet and you came in, it had to have been a pretty good price or you wouldn't be here. That's one of the things that you have to say, and you have to stand firm, firm with that. You have to explain to them you don't play that cat and mouse game. We don't mark our prices up and then have customers come in and bring them way down to win. We want you, win you on the internet. Why? Because we're interested in a further relationship than just today. We want to show you how to buy it, how easy it is to buy a car here, and then how you're buying your next car here. Have we offended you in any way by putting our best price on the internet up front? No, you hadn't offended us. Thank goodness. Now let me show you again why it's so easy to buy a car here from us, right? And then also, right, if there is any negotiations to be done, it's going to be inside, knee to knee, uh, in a seated position with you and your manager face to face uh, working it out. Don't ever get caught outside um, uh, curb trading with the customer. So you always wanna put that off and make sure you handle it um, inside. Because if you do it outside, you'll lose every time. Anyway, so those are some of the things that I like to talk about when somebody said, is that your best price? Absolutely, we don't put our second best price out there, we put our first best price. And then like I said, stand firm in that. And you can always say this, something that always I love, is have we offended you anyway by putting the best price online first? No. Okay, thank goodness. Then let's continue and keep building value. But don't stop, keep going. So I hope this helps you right here when someone asks, what's the price? Uh, remember we talked about program models and we had talked about other models as far as discounting the entire inventory this morning. It's something that just happened today. It should increase a sense of urgency and then allow them to not just get a price but get the new discounted price when they get inside. And I think they'll be excited about that. And then when someone says, is that your best price? Guess what? Show them how easy it is to buy a car here. And if there's any negotiations that has to be done, make sure it's inside. But you should be able to overcome it as long as you stand firm and uh, just overcome it by telling them you don't put your second best price on. 
uh, online or you don't give your second best price uh, on the lot. So I hope this helps you. Thank you very much.